everybody camera is checking out and I want to do a small little show me and explanation okay now I've seen a lot of people do stuff with peltiers see that white plate that's peltier I've seen a lot of people do stuff with these and they're not really doing things following any kind of a method okay check it out uh, I found that this particular one I'll try to leave a link in the description I don't know I'll try this particular one runs at max 16 volts max 4 amps okay now if you run it at 16 volts at 4 amps it's gonna burn up okay because that's the absolute high-end max right uh, I have found that you have to regulate both voltage and amperage alright so just keep that in mind when you're dealing with these Okay, the big heat sink is on the hot side of this thing. The small heat sink is on the cold side. Why do I have a heat sink on the cold side? It's heat we're dealing with. Um, some of you are in the know, some of you are not. If you all just got some of these off of eBay and you don't really know what to do with it, here's some pointers. Don't run it at more than 12 volts, else you're risking the device burning up. Don't run it at more than four amps else you're risking it burning up and anything you have okay in, at, at more than 4 amps at 12 volts or any voltage it's going to get so cold on that side that it will develop frost as well as condensation okay now the idea I I have several ideas but some this is just you know a, a pointers video all right check it out <clears throat> uh, the small heat sink is to increase the surface area of the cold side so it absorbs heat remember it absorbs and transfers heat from one side to another all right it does not heat it does not cool it moves heat uh, by it does it very it, it there's a whole science behind this thing okay but check it out what I have made is I took a heat sink off of like an AMD and this is the side that has the least airflow and I baffled with pieces of sheet metal the side that has the highest airflow because well I don't have a 4 amp transformer at the moment so I'm not going to uh, use it uh, by the way you can use a computer power supply and it works but you have to regulate the amperage it will max out as much this thing can take and you will blow your device okay you have to regulate the amperage it'll blow your device it'll probably blow your power supply don't do it okay use what you can but remember keep in mind both voltage and amperage need to be controlled okay now when I say regulated I don't mean use by use of a regulator right because you need steady DC you do need steady DC in all of these dev all any devices that uses DC do not put unregulated DC in there because it'll blow it um, but whatever it's been a rough couple few days for me if I seem impatient and snappish that's why okay but this is to move air through the cold side heat sink and obviously this is to move air through the hot side heat sink because if you don't disperse the heat it will burn up your device there's just so much that can go wrong if you don't know what you're doing because this is a very specialized device I, I figure that they ended up on eBay simply because the Chinese manufacturers made too many of these the coolers didn't sell and now they're just trying to recoup their losses all right uh, without taking it apart I don't really have it put together very well but without taking it apart the hot side is red wire up see you're looking at it the red wire is up hot side is on the right and the cold side is on the left black wire down and that's pretty much correct okay but yeah the let me just reiterate uh, the best way to run this particular one is 12 volts it doesn't have to be dead on 12 you can have plus or minus one or two volts that's fine but tr get as close to it as possible 12 volts and 2 amps 2 amps it will do really good 4 amps 
it's going to like cook one side and freeze the hell out of the other because some guy made a liquid cooling system and he put full four amps in it right and uh, a liquid cooling system on a computer and he used good knowledge of heat but he didn't have good knowledge of the device okay props to you for making the thing happen but now you know because his device made frost inside the computer it was running at minus 17 degrees or something which is awesome but okay that's not awesome because he had frost form on the computer that's bad frost means frozen water water on a computer board is bad okay so you just gotta you know keep an eye on your voltage and amperage that's it and these things can be really productive or really useless depending on your level of know-how okay so uh yeah and it's not that easy to regulate voltage and amperage at the same time uh i what i did was i used a max two amp power supply 12 volts two amps power supply regulated max from like i don't know what it was like a laptop or something and it worked it nearly burnt up the power supply because it was running at its full potential that's why i shouldn't have done that but it was better to save the device than a cheap crappy power supply all right that's that for this one and uh hope it helps have fun with your peltiers they're really super cheap on ebay compared to a lot of stuff and uh well let me describe this little device okay fan wires wires they're all spliced together right now this is the main these are the main leads right positive and negative these are the main leads for the whole shebang and it powers both fans and the peltier all at once i didn't this was just to show me a proof of concept type thing and it worked i what i did was i went near a gas stove and i put the cold side near it and it transferred a lot of heat now here's another idea for this very thing right my heater is broken here's the idea take the pipe cut it make an aluminum sleeve any machine shop can do this make an aluminum sleeve where the two ends that you cut fit into this aluminum sleeve and it has a flat side that is the size of the peltier this has to be done just after the catalytic converter else you won't pass emissions anymore because the temperature has a lot to do with it and okay this is transferred now it transfers heat not air the pipe is still sealed transfers heat through say this side is the aluminum bushing bearing fitting whatever you want to call it and this goes into the cab of the car well that's my idea to make a heater for my car when the time comes again because it's starting to warm up here in el paso and i don't need it but I've got enough of these aluminum heat sinks that any machine shop is going to like making my fitting and they have all this extra aluminum to work with because I will dump all of them. I probably have 30 pounds of aluminum in heat sinks alone and uh, I'm not going to give them 30 pounds of aluminum. I might give them 10 because this is just a few ounces. But that's an idea. Think about it. Practical application. Having the device is neat. Knowing what to do with it is even better in my opinion okay having a skill is great but if you don't apply the skill it's useless it becomes a hobby see that was left over from today <laughs> sorry all right that's it that's all i got god this is a long video i didn't mean for it to get that long thanks a lot guys this camera rocks oh yeah we're all still in zoom all right okay thanks a lot Bye bye